The brand new LMG, the TAC Evolver is out and let's see how good it is in zombies. Now, right off the bat here, like most LMGs, I can have a 200 round mag on this, but uh, when I inspect it, it seems like I forgot to br actually bring the ammo. Looks like it still works though. So I'm gonna be testing this out in all three zones to see how it does against zombies in each one. We'll be trying it against a Mega Abomination, the Stormcaller, and getting all the camos for it. And against tier one zombies, obviously it's gonna dominate them. The reload speed on it though, let's see without speed cola. Pretty slow. Now what's the damage like against tier two zombies? Not very good. It's got a lot of ammo. So it's definitely going to take stuff down, but it took 50 bullets for us to take out a light armored zombie. That is not very good. And against a tier three zombie, it's a whole lot of the same. Not really going to get a whole lot of damage on them unless you get any upgrades on it. But I always like to test it out. Unupgraded, unpack a punch against all tiers of zombies just to get a little base point of where the damage is. So let's go ahead and upgrade it here with all this stuff. And apparently for this update, for people that were experiencing crashes previously, they were all given three legendary aether tools and three flawless aether crystals. So at least we got something nice out of this update because everything else has either been broken or nerfed starting with the spore contracts. And now that I'm thinking about it, I came in here with a three plate armor vest and now it's back down to a one. Like, why would I have a durable gas mask, a self revive, a kill streak, and a large backpack, but not grab a three plate armor vest? They took it away from me. But previously, with these spore contracts, all you had to do is throw the inhibitors down on the last two spores, let them tickle them a little bit, then you can pick them back up. And then this used to give you unlimited spawns. Now, I'm pretty sure the amount of zombies that spawn for these contracts has been capped. Just like I have by this zombie. Oh, wait, going down and getting back up, getting my three plate back. Okay. You know, maybe going down was optimal. But after you kill the initial zombies for this contract, you don't get any more to spawn. So let me rethrow down the inhibitors and I'm going to leave them there. And we have a grand total of one zombie right here and one mangler all the way up on this building. I guess two zombies. Scratch that. But this is extremely disappointing. They took away one of the best contracts for grinding out camos. I don't know why they keep doing this, but luckily I'm almost certain Outlast contracts have not been touched. So just to test it, let's start this up. All right, I got this up to a good percentage. We're at 70. I'm gonna step out and see if zombies are still spawning. Looks like they're still coming out of the ground over here. At least we still got this. Oh, there's our first camo of the day, 250 kills. We're also gonna need to get 250 kills with fire damage. So we need to find Napalm Burst somewhere. Then we need to get 10 kills without letting go of the trigger 10 times. And we need to get 10 kills consecutively 10 times. And I think that'll be all of our camos. But we can get all of our camos done in a second. Let's try to find a Mega Abomination to kill. There's one right here, actually. Let's see how this does against you. What's up, dude? Yeah, shoot your laser. That should be a face gone right there. Perfect. Why don't you try to shoot another one? Stop chasing me and shoot a laser. Or at least open your mouth. There we go. We already got a quarter of his health gone. Here comes another laser. Let's take out that middle face. There we go. Two heads gone. And he's at half health. And he's shooting another laser. This is perfect. Oh, we almost completely egoed it. Oh, now he's targeting another player. Oh, shit. Oh, he used the scorcher. I thought the, the mega abomination just launched him in the air. That would have been sweet. Oh, and he dropped a bunch of self revives over here. I'll take those. Come on. He's almost dead. There you go. Yell. Oh, literally one shot. Weak on me. That should do it right there. I guess these tier three zombies, this is kind of sucking. It seems to struggle a bit against armor. And the movement speed on it isn't helping at all either. These hellhounds are beating my ass. But look at this. These armored zombies are just tanking shots. This might be better with armor piercing rounds on it. Let's see what we got. Just some essence and brain rot. Not what we're looking for. All right, we got a mega abomination down. Let's go try the storm caller. Where is he at? Where is he hiding? I hope somebody hasn't killed him already. So far, I'm not seeing him. Oh, there he is. He's lurking in the shadows. So let's stop him from super sucking me. Let's get that mask broken. How much damage are we dealing? That's eh, not like atrocious. I've seen weapons do worse. I've also seen weapons do a lot better. This wall's a sick place to fight him at though. Oh, maybe not. Holy shit. I thought I, I thought I did something. All the zombies weren't attacking me right here. 
Or if I just keep switching sides, you can't get me through the wall. And I go back up top, shoot him a little bit, drop down, and then run for my life because these zombies are going to beat my ass. Holy shit, there's so many of them. Ooh. They answered my call. Nuke will get rid of them right quick. We got the Stormcaller already down to like a quarter of its health. We just really got to not let it take any more from us. Oh, he left the storm. Idiot. And he's regaining health. Stop. What the fuck? You're not allowed to leave the storm and gain health from it. Oh, and now he's flying all the way back in. With way more health. What the fuck was that? What an asshole. All right, well, now I need to go repair my gas mask because we're in for a fight. All right, round two, cocksucker. Yeah, stay right there. Make it nice and easy for me. Throw a decoy. All these zombies need to leave me the hell alone. Got him back low again. Gotta break his hand. No health stealing and this should be it. There we go. Perfect. Drop anything good for me? Nope. Just a large backpack. His golden skull and a tier three armor vest. All right, well, it can definitely take him down and it didn't do too terrible against him, but I'm pretty sure most PAP three legendary weapons can probably take him down. Now we're on a quest to try to find Napalm Burst before this game ends. Let's hope they have it in this first nest. Nope, Brain Rot and Shatter Blast. On to the next one. What about here? Nope, the same two. What about in here? Finally, let's go. Let's see if we can find a contract to grind. So let's do an Outlast. Oh, there's a 20 consecutive kills. Oh, that was Jackrabbit. I didn't even realize. Normally those take a bit for me, but I guess if I'm not paying attention to it, I can't get in my own way. I don't know if I mentioned this yet. I'm, I'm gonna try to yell over all the shooting since I have to get all my kills without letting go of the trigger. But this weapon has a thousand ammo in reserve on top of getting the, the 400 bullets when you pack a punch it. So you can kind of just shoot this thing for a bit. And the reload with Speed Cola, it isn't the fastest, but it's not bad. Tier 3, definitely going to give you some issues trying to reload with it. But Tier 1 and Tier 2, you should be just fine. Another 250 kills of fire damage. I actually might have gotten the challenge wrong. It's kills without reloading, I'm pretty sure. And I've gotten plenty of kills without reloading, but I think I need to reload in between them. There's always going to be one camo challenge I either get wrong or struggle with. But even with our Outlast contract being at 0% for a long time, we're still getting a good amount of zombie spawns so much that somebody's coming over here trying to grab some. There's no way I don't have this camo yet. You even need to reload that often with this gun. And even if I had to reload in between each segment of getting 10 kills without reloading, I feel like I should already have it by now. Did it just pop up and I missed it? Or what's going on here? I better not have dropped this with a bug camo challenge, especially with everything else going on in this update. And here comes the Aether Storm. If I somehow don't have gold on this by the time Final Exfil gets here, we're going to have an issue. Right, I'm pretty confident we got this done. And I'm just blind and missed the camo pop up. What do we get from that? Oh, napalm burst. That would have helped out earlier. All right, let's get the hell out of here. I really hope our camos didn't bug out. Especially since we got 1,500 kills that game. And there's a playlist update, so we can even see our after action report. Did we get it done? No. Zero progress on this. And zombies get 10 kills without reloading 10 times. How did I not do that in 1,500 kills? This has got to be bugged. Let me try restarting my game and then we'll hop back in. I feel like this is going to be a waste of time, but we might as well try it. I'm going to do this a bit without any pack-a-punch, without any upgrades, just in case that's the issue. But I'm going to guess that this thing's just busted. All right, well, I grinded enough and I feel like I would have gotten the camo by now. I'm going to go ahead and do the one new thing that they added into zombies with this update and try to take on the new warlord. But we need to get a legacy calling card or a legacy key card first. So we got to take out the stronghold. Let's get this bad boy opened up. Give me that. Let's see if anyone wants to join us. I need a new warlord in a sec. If anyone wants to join. We'll see if anyone shows up. Oh, shit. We got a Wilson over here? Hell no. Oh, this thing's crazy. I've already fought her before, but I didn't have to go against this Wilson. So I must already took it out. Actually, you know what? Maybe we don't have to go against. Let's just go up. All right, let's open this bad boy up. Let me in. What's going on, Marks? Oh, they got sentry guns everywhere. They're not going to stop me. Oh, damn. It's got lit up. All right. Let's maybe not rush ahead. I'll have to take these guys out slow and methodically. 
Jeez, they're making us a pain in the ass to get through. But I think we're almost there. They got that sentry gun. Oh, there she is. We gotta lay into her. Holy shit. There's sentry guns laying into me. Oh, what the fuck? Where's she going? She just flew away. It's just nonstop mercenaries too. I don't even know where she went. She literally just flew away. Where the hell is she? I've taken out just about all of her dudes. I just heard her. Oh, she's down here now. Oh shit. That's kind of fucked up. Does she have like little shield bomb drones around her? How's that fair? Oh, now she's taken off again. Oh, and we got fucking ambushed. Where the hell did she go now? Where are you hiding at? There she is. Oh, now we're shredding her. She's shredding us right back. Please don't fly away. Please don't fly away. Oh, I'm getting charged. Almost there. I think I got her. Is that activity complete? Is she dead? No, then what fucking activity am I completing? Holy shit, these bomb drones are fucking me up. Do I have any more self revives? I have one. Alright, she's dead. She's finally asleep. Let's take out the rest of these fuckers. And what do we get for that? Wow, a large backpack, a medium armor vest. And a new blueprint for the KDVD Enforcer. Sick. I'm glad I did all that. I'm out of here. Hot take. Other Warlord was better. I don't even think we still have the old one. It's just an empty area. And all of a sudden, there ain't shit else to do. Let's just get out of here. We still got a calling card. I killed three Warlords. But any camel progress there? Nope. It is bugged. Well, since everything's broken, I'm going to have to end it here. Overall, the gun, it's pretty decent. Uh, it doesn't really stand out from any of the LMGs. I think it's basically the same as everything else that we've seen in that weapon category, but it's not terrible. But since we can't get any more camos on it, I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Thank you guys for watching. I truly appreciate all your love and support, and I will see you guys in the next one. Later.